Now we got the hip roof done. Time for gable roof. So we have the hip roof showing here, and we have the gable roof over here. So I'm going to take the hip roof and click on it, and not hide the component right here where it says Entity Info. I'm going to go down and hide the roof layer. You can see I still got my ceiling on there. I'm going to take a pic look at this one here, and we're going to work with this gable roof. We're going to move it from that point right on to the end right there. Now we're outside of the gable roof. Right now we're going to go to Entity Info where it's untagged. I'm going to put this onto that object roof gable layer that I made. Close Entity Info, look at the tag, there's that roof. All right, so gable roof is just a straight extrude. We did the hard one already. You guys are awesome at the hard one. So now we're just going to do a straight extrude. The new thing that we're going to learn with this is we're going to learn how to mirror. So in Inventor we can mirror, in Revit we can mirror, in SketchUp we really isn't, there really isn't a mirror ability. So, I'm going to double click to get inside this piece. I need the other half. I could spend the time to draw it, and if you want to, go ahead. If you want the practice, go ahead. I'm going to try to do it the easy way and show you the easy way. I'm going to tap the control key to make a copy of this one right now. So now it's just sitting over here. And then I'm going to triple click on it and right click on it and hit flip along. And this one, I really don't understand it very well to tell you the truth. I think it's green direction, but I'm going to try it. And it was green direction, flipped it this way. Blue direction would have flipped it up. Red direction wouldn't have done anything. And I'm going to move. And this is a critical thing. So when I clicked on move here, I had everything selected yet. And I grab right at the peak of the roof or the point of the roof and set it right on the peak or the point of that roof. And use the eraser to erase that center line. Now I have the roof started. I'm gonna use the push pull tool. I'm going to spin around to the back side right away. And I'm going to grab this surface and I'm going to touch it to over here. Now we have nice overhang here, but we don't have any overhang over here. And we don't have any overhang over here. The fascia should come down to this point, or that six inches that we talked about. And then we will the, fill the rest of that in with siding. So. We're going to change how this is set up a little bit. And we're going to do tape measure tool. Come down, parallel, 5.5. And you'll notice I can't just go from here and go up because that would make really wide fascia up here. So I'm going to go here and come 5.5. So there's my fascia. Now I'm going to draw up, over, down, and that'll line it up, and down. And I'm going to have to draw, because right now, that's sitting at the wall. And now I can do a push-pull. I can grab this outer piece. And I'm going to come out 24 inches, just like I did on my others. Now, does this 24 inches matter that much? Not really. You could probably get away with 12, but I still like keeping it consistent. And I have that side done. 
I'm going to flip over to the other side. I can erase that little piece. And I can erase this little line. And now I'm going to flip over to the other side and do the same thing. Oh no. If you look, my house is getting cut off. Some little trick here. Zoom extents brings your house back. So again, come parallel to that, come 5 inches, or 5.5, come down 5.5, pencil tool there, there, there. This one here is kind of hard to line up, but if you look, it gets lined up green and there. And then I'm going to push pull again, grab this, bring it out, 24 inches. Hit the eraser, catch those two areas. Click out of it. Now I have that gable wall. That's called the gable wall there. And I have my roof all done. If I take a look, I can take off my gable. And I can put it on my hip. So I have all those options. I put a gable and a hip on and it really looks kind of funny. There's actually a roof that looks like this where they put a little eyebrow going across here. Or small little eyebrows going across. But I can choose which one I like. What I'm going to do is take off both. I'm going to highlight this thing that I made just to help me out and delete it. Because that's going to surface fight it. So we are done raising the roof.